Greetings VAC fans. It's a cold December here in Ohio and the temperature is far below freezing at the moment. So I thought, gee, couldn't be a better time to go ahead and do some particle tests with some clean air bags, or rather clean air machines that use this type of bag. And I've figured out to have a kind of setup that uses the old Kirby G5 here and we can get some decent particle tests. So I've always wondered, you see all different kinds of brands of aftermarket bags. Here's Hoover Y and here's a nice Hoover Y from Crucial Vacuum. And here's some Ricard paper bags, right, type B. And here is the ubiquitous, and I'm sure you probably have some, EnviroCare HEPA bags, again type B. But we're going to start out with type A. And that's actually what it looks like. And the only real difference between type A and type B is the bag is a slightly different length and the collar is obviously different. See, there's a A over there and that's the B that's down there. And they go in these guys. An A in that one, and the little larger, longer B in that one. So let's take an initial particle count. And it's a little dusty today down here. Still has excellent air quality. But I don't think we're anywhere near any 6,000 because I've been, well, I've been digging all these bags out of my boxes and moving around. So I'm not sure what the initial particle count is going to be. See, how close can I get before it washes out the screen? 41,000. Well, it's a dirty day today in Bill's basement. Actually, I've had the heat on down here, so it's probably blowing stuff all over the place. Anyway, that's what we're starting at. Also, the wife's been cooking. All right, let's turn this on and see what we get. See, I got a rubber band to hold this thing level, some boxes to keep it from blowing off. Okay, well, let's take a look at what it says in the box. So, 99.97, but it doesn't say HEPA this or HEPA that or anything like that. Look at that. You know what? That has such a fabulous particle count. I'm going to call these right here, these A bags from EnviroCare, I'm going to say these are H11. I mean, they are really, really thick. And um, I did an initial test with this uh, about 15 minutes ago. And instead of here, it was blowing like, say, around a 50 or a little under, I actually did get a zero. And uh, that's really fantastic. So if you like EnviroCare and they have a really thick, solid HEPA bag that you can get or something that looks like a HEPA bag, probably is. And I think they have some pretty good pricing. All right, so that is for the EnviroCare A845 
compatible with those particular vacuums and that is fantastic performance so highly recommend it now I'm gonna switch over I'm gonna do the B paper bags and these paper bags are expensive so let's see what they do and now time for the Ricar type B paper bags there it is boy that thing's big performance from these bags. They appear to be fairly thick, but they're not... Uh, I don't remember exactly how many plies they are. I have to go back and take a look at the uh, sand and the carpet tests, but these weren't that great. Not nearly as good as those multi-ply um, higher-end Kirby paper bags. So I think I saw something eh, like in the low 6,000s. That's a big difference. All right, so on to the HEPA version, again, by EnviroCare. Model is A846. All right, here we go with the HEPA version of the Type B bag from EnviroCare. So that looks like at least a dozen times worse overall than the, uh, let's see, where did I put them? Than the A bags. So, I mean, there's a definite difference. And if I look at the material, I'm just kind of feeling it here and it's kind of re-examining it. Compared to this, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's a definite difference there. I don't know that's going to be able to show up on camera but look at the look at the sides this is much thicker than this is yeah this is really soft and feels like it's almost twice as thick as this one this is um much stiffer uh much less uh pliable and this thing is super soft you know almost like a pillow and that is that is much thicker and this edge here. I mean, gee, I would have never imagined that until I measured it. I couldn't figure out what the difference would be. So, wow. Gee, what do you what do you think of that? I would have I would have just never imagined. So, these type B bags are still a lot better than the paper ones. I mean, a lot better than the paper ones. Um, but these type A bags 
are absolutely fantastic. These are definitely uh, in the H11 class. Maybe uh, these are uh, something still a lot better than paper, don't get me wrong, a lot better than paper, but maybe they would be something like uh, an H10 or something like that class. Anyway, there's some options for bags that you can put in your um, Taconi products and get better performance rather than just using paper bags. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I think I will probably do uh, some Hoover bags next. Can't wait to test those. Until next time, happy vacuuming.